Hello friends, Satyendra here and in this video we are trying to add multiple assembly details in one warm table and this can be multiple separate assemblies or it can be one assembly with multiple configuration and uh, there are two different ways to do this so we have two different method one method is by quantity method and second method is by item method so if you see this pdf this is by quantity method and if you see this pdf this is by item method now let's see these pdfs carefully so if you see this pdf you can see that there is bath ventilator assembly and this assembly is having four configuration and all four configuration put together we have 23 parts here and all are listed here now if you see this description closely you can find that some of the parts like rivet handle connector handle handle lock blade and top end these parts are common in all four configuration but other parts like face right end left end connecting link these parts are different for different configuration one more thing we observe here is all four configuration has one common part list here but four different quantity list here that means the first method is having one common part list for all configuration but separate quantity list for every configuration now let's see the second pdf and if you see this pdf you can see that this is also same assembly bath ventilator and this assembly is having four configuration again and each configuration is having 11 parts assembled here and each assembly is having separate part and quantity list that means the second method is different than first method and here there is no common part list all assemblies are having separate part list and separate quantity list but the best part of second method is you can add balloons using this table but if you use first method you can't add balloon using this table you need to have a separate table related to the assembly view for ballooning so in my first video i covered first method which is by quantity now in this video i will talk about second method which is by item so let's get started and for that i'll open the same ventilator assembly so this is my ventilator assembly and now we'll see the configuration of this assembly but before that i'll just go for drag component and i'll show you how it works i'll move it up and down so this is how it opens and closes now we'll see the configuration of this assembly so let us move to family table and this is the family table now we have four instances for this assembly here and these are the combination for this configurations say so, okay now let us add all configuration details in one bomb table and for that go to the drawing so this is my drawing now here i will add the same table once again just to show you that how to create this table but before that let's have a small break and meanwhile you can like this video and subscribe my channel thank you so now let's create the table and for that you first create the heading just like this i have already added the same heading here and once you have done with this heading now add repeat region and report symbol now be careful while adding repeat region because the procedure is slightly different in second method so you first select from this item to description this is one region and then from part to quantity second region then this will be third region this will be fourth region and this will be fifth region now set done now if you go to switch symbol you can see that you have multiple regions here just like this now add the report symbol and for that just double click here and for item repeat index and for description assembly member user defined and type here description now come to part number double click here assembly member name and for quantity repeat quantity same thing you repeat for all one by one Now 
Once it is done, just update the table. Now go to repeat region, attributes, select the region one by one, say no duplicate or no duplicate level. Say done. Go to this, no duplicate level, done. So repeat this for each cell. Once it is done, now update the assembly. And for that, go to repeat region, model representation, and select this region. Now, this region you need BV100101 instance. So, this is that instance. Select the instance, say open, and say confirm. Now, this got replaced. Same thing you repeat for others region. Select this one and say open and confirm. This one. Third instance, open, confirm. Model rep, fourth instance, this one, open and confirm. And set done. Update table. So now you can see that both tables are exactly same. So we just created multi assembly bomb using second method, which is by item method. And this was the whole idea about second method, by item. So this is it guys. Now like this video if the video is helpful. Share this video with your friends and subscribe my channel for further updates.